I'm Cheryl Wilcox, Australian landscape painter. Hi art lovers, it's Cheryl here. I'm a Central Coast artist and I live at North of Oka and it's about two minutes from here. And I spend a lot, just trod on a jellyfish, I spend a lot of my time down here at the beach um, painting and drawing. And you can see why this area is so often in my work. I love where I live and I paint what I love. My first encounter with art was when I was really young, perhaps five or six. It was when I first went to school and hung on the walls of our classroom were these paintings and as well as they went down through the corridors and I just loved them and I loved the way that they made me feel and I was really interested in the way that they actually applied paint. And it wasn't until a lot later that I realised that these, of course, were just prints. And every school, I'm assuming in New South Wales, had them. So these were the works of the um, Impressionist and the Post-Impressionist, people like the Cubist also. So we had Picasso, we had Degas, we had um, uh, Franz Marc, um, Paul Klee. And that is where I first fell in love with painting. My love for art was born. It became my favourite subject in high school. My HSC major work was selected in Art Express to tour the state. And I went on to study art at Newcastle. And I graduated um, as a visual art teacher, got married, had two children, and life got very, very busy. We were living in China, Beijing, and when we moved back to Australia, I was just amazed at the beauty um, of, of Australia. Having lived in this environment of smog, a place where you couldn't see clouds, you couldn't see shadows, and the air just tasted really, really bad. So it was wonderful to be back home, and I fell in love with just the natural beauty of Australia and also I fell back in love with painting. My paintings are an appreciation or a celebration of the colour of nature. So it's colour and it's light and how the colour of the natural environment will change throughout the day depending on where the position of the sun or the light source is. So in the mornings with sunrise, really incredibly beautiful vivid colours, as is very sort of similar in the afternoon with the sunset, as well as different weather conditions with the amount of moisture or clouds or fog which is in the air changes the colours that we so see. When I'm outside painting or drawing, I like to remind myself that my eye is actually connected to my brain and that it is not a camera. And it is the brain and the process of seeing uh, my experiences and how I feel that this is where my art comes from. Light and the colour, both like the colour that inspire me to create some art. So when I start a painting, I start with a white canvas. I smear the canvas with ultramarine burnt umber, sometimes raw sienna a warm colour because the world is warm and I smear this on with gamasol. Then I pick out the lights. I actually add in the darks and I try to work out some sort of composition which is usually an S. And once I establish my composition or I have some eye magnets that lead me to a focal point or an area of interest, then I can start to put my colours in.
afternoon, the sun is setting, I'm outside on the deck and I'll just take you into my studio. Now, this is the main area here, or the largest floor, and this space is where the workshops happen and also where we have events. We can use these walls to put up either my work or my students' work. And at the moment, I'm getting ready for an exhibition. And I've got a few paintings stacked up here. So as we go through here, I've got a little kitchenette here. Sort of my office type area, I suppose. I have a desk, I have a store here where I put a lot of my papers. On top, I use this to frame and I have a bookcase here. Next door is my studio area here with my desk and inside lots of paint. I'll quickly take you to my storeroom, which is the other bedroom, a little bit smaller this time. I'll show you around. I have spare canvases in here and I have like an area here where I actually um, store my paintings here, more paint. And outside, a little bathroom and of course a fridge where I often like to store my paints and my paintbrushes overnight. Thank you for visiting. I offer original oil paintings on canvas and a selection of which have been digitally scanned and printed to create fine art prints in three different sizes, workshops and art events exhibitions. Thank you for tuning in. I hope that you have learned something about my art practice, my creative process, and why I paint.